rocking everybody your boy Bong is back and today I have a very special video for you guys as you guys can see we are back in the kitchen which means I have a DIY giant banger coming your way right now today I am attempting to do something I have never done before we are trying to do a DIY giant Cadbury cream egg Jared I got my chocolate I got my egg mold now here's the thing guys I tried to look for an egg mold that cut this way but it wasn't gonna happen so i am trying to build it upside like this all right guys now since i've never tried this before i'm gonna need all the luck i can possibly get so before we get this video started guys go down and smash that like button dustin dustin ah! what do they have like, to uh, do uh, dustin what do they gotta do smash the like button <laughs> Smash the like button, please. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and check me out on these social medias if you haven't already. Okay, I mean, let's not waste any more time. So, guys, the major key of this DIY is the mold yin, okay? If we don't have the mold yin, then the chocolate yin and the icing yin has no place to sit yin, all right? So what we need is this part of the mold. So guys, first step in our DIY, giant Cadbury cream egg is to line out our bad boy like so, all right? Now we wanna leave a little bit of room so that we can have a little bit of slack in the mold, yeah? But essentially, guys, this should be a relatively easy DIY minus the construction part, guys. The architecture of this egg is gonna be the hardest part, all right? All right, now, guys, as you can see, we have a totally lined up bottom egg mold, all right? Now, we gotta do the same for the top. Again, guys, you wanna line out the mold. If you don't do these prerequisite steps, you're gonna play yourself. And in this kitchen, we don't play ourselves, we reward ourselves. So here we go with the second layer of <laughs> saran wrap, right? So there we have our two sides of our egg, all right? The bottom half and the top half. Um, I might wanna reline this. Be right back. All right, guys, so we had to use a little bit of outside the box thinking. We got a big dusty garbage bag, except One it's not piece. dusty. It's, uh, it's, it's from, straight from the box, all right? It's not that dusty. But we just needed one piece to cover the entire top half of the egg, all right? So we got one big piece of plastic that's just gonna line out our top half of the mold. But now, since we have both halves of the mold, what we wanna do, guys, is start melting our chocolate to create a base of chocolate in both sides of the mold. So what I'm gonna do here is put a little bit of chocolate on this side. What I'm gonna do here is put a little bit of chocolate on this side. Then I'm gonna let that freeze, and then we will be able to start working with our molds to create a nice DIY giant Cadbury. So here we go, got my chocolate. Uh, all right, bring this over to the oven. All right, guys, so we have our double boiler technique here. What we want to do is grab a big, dutty amount of chocolate, all right? And I didn't really open the bag properly, so I'm just going to try to probe them in here. Oh. Okay, all right. That's, ah, the burner. Oh, no, not the burner. Shit. Anywhere but the burner. Okay. Right there. Come yeah. here, come yeah. here. All right. So we got a big, dutty amount of chocolate in here. What we want to do, guys, is start melting up this chocolate so we can create our two bottom bases in our egg mold. So we'll give this guy some time. We'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, as you can see, the chocolate is now melted. So we are ready to start creating a base for both of these guys. So what we want to do, and not throw the towel because this is extremely hot, grab your towel. Grab this big dusty bowl and what we want to do is bring it over guys. I brought it real close to the pot and what we want to do is pour a nice but base layer of chocolat into this guy I feel like, like I'm so. in a Cadbury commercial. All right, boom. There's our base layer. <coughs> Just go back up top. Guys, what we want to do here is that little shake and bake technique to even it all out. And now this guy can go straight into the freezer and this can fit right in there. Perfect. So there's our first bottom layer. Now guys, we want to take our top half, bring this guy over, and again, same technique here. And now this guy can come up. We'll take this little cup, and we're gonna put this guy in the corner of the freezer, like so, so it can be straight, and use this guy as a little stand. Now, we want to close this up, and give it a sufficient amount of time to freeze up, and then we can start our next step in our DIY giant Cadbury cream egg. All right, you guys, so we have left the molds in the freezer for about half an hour or so. They should be fully frozen. So what I have done, I have lined out my counter with some aluminum foil. We do not have parchment paper today. I blade myself, I forgot it at the store. So we lined it out with aluminum foil, but guys, you should probably use parchment paper. I've also melted up a big, dutty amount of chocolate. It's already melted. It is right here, ready to roll. So, grab this one. 
We're gonna grab the bottom half first, guys, and this is gonna be the one that we're gonna be working with. So what we wanna do is line this guy out one more time. Just press your fingers around the lining, guys. And what we wanna do now is be careful because this is a little hot. Pour some chocolate into this egg like so. So what we wanna do here is create another layer of chocolate. So guys, to create that big, dusty, hollow part in the cream egg, what we wanna do is actually take a bowl like so. Wrap it in saran wrap from the bottom. All right, so here's our bowl. We got our saran wrap. What we wanna do is wrap it on the bottom. And guys, just make sure you're getting a nice, even layer of saran on the bowl. Now, what you guys want to do is take this bowl, all right, and dip it in your chocolate to create a hollow boom, like so. You're gonna create your little hollow part in your egg with the bowl. Now, what you guys want to do now is take the rest of the chocolate and pour it on the side, Oz. And guys, that's, what we, that's why we lined up our counter so we don't play ourselves. And we're just gonna do this circular technique until it is all around the sides. All right guys, as you can see, there is a nice circular formation around the inside of my egg. So that part of the egg is done, all right? What we wanna do is we're gonna let that guy cool off for just a little bit and then we're gonna slap it in the freezer so that the entire circular formation is super, super cold. What that's gonna allow us to do is the chocolate's gonna get a little bit colder and then we can pop out the bowl from the inside of our egg. But guys, now it is time to work on the top side of our egg and that should be a little bit easier. Alrighty guys, so we have put the bottom half into the freezer. What we have here is the top half, all right? So what I've done is I've melted up a bunch more chocolate. Now I'm gonna pour them into the top half, but before we play ourselves, we need our handy dandy measuring cup to keep everything straight. All right, now that we place underneath, we grab the chocolate, guys. Now what we wanna do is cue the sexy chocolate music. We don't wanna fill it up all the way, guys, because what we're gonna do, we wanna take a cup, all right? Now this is gonna add to the hollowness of the egg. Now we're gonna take this cup and we're gonna place it all the way in the bottom until it is touching the bottom of the base of the egg. Now what we wanna do is grab some more chocolate and then fill it up around the cup, like so, here. And there we go. Now this guy can come with us. Oh no, stay still. Stay still. And guys, what we want to do is take it over into the freezer and place it in the freezer for a hot, dusty minute, all right? Because essentially, guys, we want to make sure that it does freeze into the right shape. Guys, that was a little bit stressful, and I am not sure how this DIY is going to go. But here we go. We're going to close the freezer. Oh, okay. And we are not going to check up on this guy for another two hours because we want to make sure that it is frozen to the absolute lowest degree possible, all right? It has to be absolutely frozen for this to even work. So guys, I need all the help I can get. Go down, smash that like button, and let's check up on this guy in two hours or so. One eternity later. Alrighty guys, so we are back in the kitchen and we have left the two halves of the egg mold in the freezer for about two hours. Honestly, I did not want to cut any corners in this giant DIY Cadbury cream egg, all right? So here we go, we're about to take them out of the freezer and guys, honestly, I have no idea how the next portion of this video is gonna go. Bro, I have, re I didn't see them go in. Yeah. I'm stressed. I know, I'm stressing right now. Dustin had to go, I had to get Jad to help me. Guys, honestly, I don't know how this is gonna go, but hopefully, Logical Bongo is in place. Here goes nothing. So, that was aggressive. We gonna, gonna, here goes nothing. <laughs> like, there's the first one. And here is, here's the second one. And this one was the one that was giving us trouble. All right, so, all right, so, let's start with this egg mold first. So essentially what I wanna do is I just want to crack it a little bit. I think you should take the bowl out first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. I might the other one, but oh, all right. the other one? Not the other bowl, okay. Well, this bowl first then. Yeah. All right, so essentially what I'm thinking for this bowl is realistically, this part of Oh yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. Like this, all right, that should in theory, Crack our chocolate that is connecting the two pieces together. All right, like so. Boom, 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 boom. And now, if all goes well. Oh, all right. All right, we're getting some movement here. Yeah. But this should pop out. It looks like a coconut right now. It kind of does with the inside. Coconut. All right, let's take off. What if you put some warm water in the bowl? Warm water in the bowl. Yeah, because then it makes the outside hot, which melts the chocolate just a little bit on the inside. You a genius. I like that. I am a genius. 
Okay, here we go. Hot water in the bowl. All right. A lot, a lot, a lot. Right. Right a lot? All a lot, a lot. No, no, not a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. a lot. There you go. All right, all right, guys. So we have had this bowl on for a little bit now. So it really needs to spin. Oh, okay. Yo, you feel that? I don't know if it's me. Maybe we should leave it to melt a little bit longer. All right, all right. We're gonna leave it to melt a little bit longer, folks. Thank God Dustin is in the building because we have a code red right now. The bowl is stuck in our egg, and we don't. Oh, okay. We don't want that. So while that guy is warming up. We're gonna move him to the side like so, and we are gonna start trying to work with our top of our egg. This one should be a little bit easier. Same concept. Okay, it's stuck. All right, never mind. First, we'll take the egg out of the bowl. That's the easy part. There you go. All right, boom. There we go. Take the garbage bag from around the egg. Okay. Watch out, get your clothes. Oh, my clothes are fine. We'll be all right. Come on, Chuck. So, what I was thinking is that we could do one of these. All right, and now, realistically, you gotta hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh! Ha ha! Now this, plastic in the middle, can come ju out just like so. Make sure you take out all the plastic. All right, now the plastic from the outside. This is looking good, folks. This is looking good. Here we go. What do you think of the top half of our egg mold? What do you think? And it's nice yeah. and hollow. So we can fill it up with some cream. It's gonna be a little bit hard to bite into this egg I to got, reach the cream. I got strong teeth. But Dustin's got strong teeth. I'm like a T-Rex. All right, so, okay guys, so since we have the top half out, now we can work with the bottom half and oh my God, is it melting. Okay, so here we go. This should be, oh, oh okay, this is way easier. Okay, 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 Dustin, a we need to spin, be. A spin, a little spin. Spin and pull yeah, up a little bit. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, folks. Moment of truth. Oh. Here, okay. It is very, very, oh, but that's perfect because now it's not stuck on the inside. Exactly. And we can just pull this right out. Oh, look at that chocolatey gooiness. Okay, let's get the saran wrap out of there, boom. Now, guys, look at this. And boom, just like that, guys, we have a bottom half and a top half to our DIY. A little bit of uh, saran wrap, yeah. Cadbury giant cream egg, all right? So here we go. No, all right. I just wanna see if this lines up. Yet. Can't show them yet. Oh, true. Can't show them yet. We can't if show them just right now, this would be like a, like a Lindor chocolate. That's What's it. The, it's a Cadbury cream That's egg, okay? That's it. We've gotta make the Cadbury we cream egg. We've gotta fill it up with some cream. Exactly, You're but... right. In all seriousness, how do you do that? It's funny you ask, Dustin. Essentially what you guys need is a big, dusty bowl like the one I have right in front of me, all right? Guys, you're gonna need a big, dusty amount of icing sugar. So what you guys wanna do is pour the icing sugar I in here. I thought that was flour. Bro. Okay, well it was icing sugar. Congratulations, you played yourself. So here's our icing sugar. Sugar is in the air, folks. What we wanna do now is pour a little bit air, right? of water into the icing sugar. Bring this guy back. Get a handy dandy wooden spoon and start mixing this guy up to make our cream filling. Now guys, at first it'll be watery, it'll take its time to set, but the more you mix the icing sugar into the water, the more of a smoother consistency you will get. So here we go, we're just gonna keep mixing. So here we go, we're gonna add some more icing sugar to our concoction here. And we're gonna keep stirring our concoction until we have a nice, thick, creamy icing meat. All right, we're bringing you back a little early here. All right, it's here not we're done yet, but uh, not done. Let's go. Let's Guys, look at this. I'm not making a mess, I promise, all right? I'm putting my hard work and sweat and tears into this baby, so here we go. Mm. Oh, uh, it's getting see? thick, thick, We're though. getting a nice, Well, that's thicker than thick, a bowl of oatmeal, oh, literally. It's thicker. Oh, here we go, here. Okay, all right. Guys, what? I haven't done a DIY in a while. It's getting a little bit messy, but organization and efficiency, guys, we gotta go as quick as possible because we can't play ourselves in this situation, but as you guys can see, our icing is getting nice and thick. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we have stayed nice and clean throughout the entire icing process. We are chilling, we are ready to go, but I have all the white part of the egg. What's the white part of the egg called? The yolk, uh, not the yolk, not the, the, yolk, the egg white. Right? Okay, it's, so it's, it's the egg white. It's the egg white, it's just called the egg white. Okay, so we got our egg white and now we need our yolk. So what we're gonna be doing is there's jokes and there's yolks. We're gonna be taking some of this white stuff right here, pouring it into this guy right here. Okay, that's a lot. All right, boom. 
That could stay right there. Now guys, what we want to be doing is using this golden yellow icing coloring, all right? Be careful when you're using this because this stuff gets all over the place. But essentially, you just want to dab in as much as you possibly can. Here, here, here. Oh, it's going to be nice and golden yellow. And now, we just want to mix it up. All right. You see the yellow coming through, and it is a nice golden yolky egg yellow vibe. All right, so there we go. We got the yellow now. All right, guys, so now that we have our egg whites and our egg yolks, aka our egg yolks, all right, we have our two halves of our egg. What we want to do now is take the egg whites, guys, and we want to absolutely fill this guy up. But not absolutely fill it up, because we're going to put some yolks in the whites. All right, so here we go with some whites. And boom, cue the sexy icing music. Boom, just like that. So, are we ready to add the yolk? Absolutely. So guys, we are almost ready to complete this DIY giant Cadbury cream egg. We got our icing in here. All right, we're gonna give that guy a little bit to set down. But what we did is we melted up the remaining of our chocolate, guys. We got a little bit more chocolate left in us, all right? So what we wanna do is we actually wanna turn this guy off and bring it to our handy dandy working station. Just like so, here. All right, guys, so since we have our melted chocolate, the remaining of our melted chocolate, we have our yolk. What we wanna be doing now, guys, is actually adding the egg yolk to the egg white. So here we go. We got our nice, fantastic yellow, and we gotta be careful here. Our first drop is crucial. It has to be in the middle. Boom. Oh. And boom. Okay. We need some more, though. We need now more. we are talking, folks. Yeah, yeah, I know. Boom. Nice. But I just wanna make sure that our drops are nice. Boom. Okay, folks, we are talking big time here. You know I'm a big fan of yolk. Let's go a little more. Okay, let's go a little bit more. You mean like pour it in? Oh, okay. that's perfect, that's perfect. That's, that's perfect. perfect. Boom, okay, cut that off right there. All right, guys, so we are now at our last step in our DIY giant Cadbury cream egg. We got our cream in the egg, we got the egg. Now it is time to seal the egg game, all right? So we have this remaining chocolate. It is nice and warm. What we want to do, guys, is just take it. It's an abundance of steam coming out of that, Jesus. Bear steamers. All right, what we want to do, guys, is just layer the outside of our egg with some liquid chocolate. What that's going to do is we're going to use it as an adhesive, folks. Bongo's word of the day for the day is adhesive. Here we go with the melted chocolate. Take this guy. Lather him up, too. Here. And, guys, moment of truth. All right, cue the intense music. All right. The tall side facing us. Uh, this side? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Here. Here. Oh, you heard that? That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now, guys, grab your spatula. Give it a nice little swipe, right? With the spatula, give it a nice edge vibe, all right? You want to do that all around your egg to make sure that your egg is looking nice. All right. Ooh. Now, guys, what we want to do is we just want to let this guy sit for like five minutes and then we are ready to taste test this DIY giant Cadbury cream egg. Here. Alrighty guys, so we have left our DIY giant Cadbury cream egg to dry. It is nice and hard right now, so it is our favorite time of the video, folks. It is taste test time. Uh, Just bite into it? Me, I'm more of like an omelet kind of guy. I like that's to crack my That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Egg. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try to crack our egg. Ugh. Ugh, this is like a dinosaur egg. We might just have to take a bite out of it. Ah. You good? No. All right, we might need some help from Sui Nation here. Sui, we need some destruction, buddy. Half destruction, half destruction. Here we Whoa, go. Whoa, where'd you find a nice hammer? little mini hammer. All right, here we I go. I got a hammer on me. Okay, we gotta be careful here, Dustin, because this thing is like 50 pounds. Yep. Have you held it yet? You see? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna joke. That's pretty it's heavy. pretty heavy, all right. Oh my god. So here we go. All right, so like, just like a coconut, like a power. Yeah. Hold it over it. Okay. And then you hold it up, I'll power it. Oh, I'll hold this and you'll yeah, power it. Okay. Three, yeah. two, one. Okay. All right, some more power action. Okay, okay. Oh, baby! Okay! Here we go! Oh, no! Okay, yo, the yolk is all over the place. That, that looks just... so legit. Taste test? Yeah, taste test. Uh, oh. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow! Yeah? This is a banger! Bro, it looks legit! Alright, I want to I want right, right. I want to get in. Get in, get in on. Oh, so you, wait, you gotta get, let it flow towards you. Ah. Uh. And then you go like this. 
Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, that's a crabberry pre-make, bro. That is, hold it, hold it. Okay. Waterfall it. Waterfall it. Ah, oh, scores! Nah, I need another bite. Wow. Uh, bro, that is so good. I really wish you guys could taste this. Me too. This, I didn't think this was gonna work. I'm honestly, Cadbury cream egg is mm. like, you can't do a knockoff mm. Cadbury cream egg. Well, this ain't a knockoff, okay? This is fantastic. This is a real deal. Cadbury, hire this guy, right? Wow. Sponsor him. Mm. Jesus. Bro, oh, that's so good. And the cream egg, like, bro. Oh my god, bro. You got the yellow and the white stuff. Yeah, Look yeah, at yeah. That. Look at this pour. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. The Baker's Man is back! <laughs> Alrighty, guys, there it was a DIY Johnny Cadbury cream egg. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go down, smash that like button. I had a blast making this DIY Johnny Cadbury cream egg. Honestly, guys, it, it was my first time doing it. It was kind of a mission to begin with, but it turned out fantastic. I gotta give a huge, huge, huge shout out and a thank you to my main man, Dustin, guys. <laughs> you guys go check out his channel, youtube.com slash just Dustin. I will leave a link to his channel at the very top of my description. Also, a huge shout out to Travis for helping us out behind the camera once in a while. Yeah, I like that. I like that. You're, you're not throwing this out yet, are you? I am not throwing it's it okay, out quite I'm, yet. I'm keeping it. Okay, all right, well. Call a future DIY that you guys would like to see on this channel and hey, your idea just might make it. Again guys, thank you so much for watching this DIY. Until next time, take it easy. It's fun easy.